Well, when I look at the photos of Harry and Meghan, I actually am stuck with that picture of when they were at the softball and the kiss cam came on. And a lot of people have commented on this, but I want to con comment on the specific technique. And the specific technique is misdirection and laughter. And it's an old technique used by women. If you don't want to kiss when someone goes in for the handshake, you can jam the elbow just for a split second, look away. <laughs> and laugh and it's a way of misdirection it's a technique and I could see that Megan was using this technique when Harry came in you know for the kiss is that it's a quick oh, oh what fun you know um uh misdirection and laughter I just went oh I've actually gone in and I've looked at some old photos really from the beginning. And do you know in almost all of the photos, Harry's leaning in and Megan is just upright or slightly leaning away. And I think about her techniques and, you know, I think that there is a lot of basis to what people are saying is that this has never really been a solid relationship. Let's talk about Megan. Megan has, um, you know, I'm not going to say an underprivileged background, but a normal background. And then, you know, I am quoting when I repeat what psychiatrists have said, and they say that, you know, she could be a narcissistic psychopath. Now, when we say that, I'm not saying that she's someone who goes out and kills people on the weekend. And if you read Kevin Dutton's book on the wisdom of psychopath, psychopaths, you know, we need some of these skills of the psychopath for leadership. So Megan has actually channeled her, her skills into what she wants. So uh, we come down to who made who cry at the wedding. Um, we come down to now lip reading where Harry said, when she said she was pregnant and Harry apparently looked at her and said, are you really pregnant? Like, you know, he really, he didn't believe her himself. And then um, when we have the two hour car chase, when we have the recently she's not been wearing the wedding ring, you know, is she manipulating the media? Is it real? She loves that game of manipulation. And her mission is to get money and be famous. But she has a secondary mission in that she will cover that under a guise of, I help people and express love. Harry comes from an incredibly privileged background and as a consequence is no doubt massively naive and he's clearly hurt and hurt to the core. Um, I think that he loves Megan's manipulation. He's totally on board with it and he loves it. The problem is that hurt people hurt people. So his mission is to appear happy and in a solid relationship. Look how successful I am with the beautiful women. His secondary mission is to hurt people, you know, as many people as he can, who he feels hurt him and killed his mother. So, you know, they're kind of trapped in together um, in their mission. The problem is with Harry is that for the future, I think that Harry is ha quite happy. He loves Megan's manipulation. He loves being there. I think he's just sort of drifting along and thinks this will all go well. Okay, what's the reality? Harry has lost his use by date. He has no use. He has no family. He has no influence. Not only that, he has a bad reputation and is being mocked. And she wants to distance herself as far as possible from that because none of that fits her. And I would say, given her personality um, issues, that perhaps there is no love. And I think that we'll hear the story of, I never really loved him. I had no idea of the hurt that he'd suffered. And it was horrible for me to be around it. I had to get him out of the house and it was terrible for the children. And, you know, I think that'll be the story that will come and Harry will just be lost. I, I, I'll tell you where Harry will end up in Africa working in an orphanage.